I turned this boring little garden seat into a motorized garden seat. And it's a lot of fun and not very boring. Not as boring as this. Uh, this is what the motorized garden chair is going to look like. <clears throat> it's a mock-up right now. Uh, I took a jack shaft and um, I'm going to weld the, the mounts from the jack shaft onto the cart here. And then um, I'll change this sprocket out to a bigger one for like a motorcycle size chain. Anyways, uh, this was a freewheel axle uh, right here. This was the old axle, but <clears throat> I've, uh, I'm going to make it a live axle, drive both wheels from this little engine here. And, well, that's my next project. I will be moving the seat back to uh, give me some leg room in here, and then over here, I'm going to weld a pipe straight up here with a T-handle and uh, brace it against this uh, with a bushing so it doesn't move around and that'll be my steering. As you can see, it does steer. So, And I'll use a um, motorcycle throttle for this. I'll have an um, exhaust pipe that just comes straight back. And that's pretty much it. All right, this is the uh, live axle. I uh, got a um, jack shaft, came with this mounting, and uh, anyways, welded it to the frame. And that's how I'm gonna set this thing up. I can actually shift this over and line everything up when the engine gets put in. And uh, I'll put a um, caliper here, a disc brake on this and that'll stop both wheels. This thing drives both wheels, so this sprocket here will drive both wheels. And um, I'll have a, I'll put a caliper on here and mount it up to the frame. But that's this is where I'm at so far. I have a real low uh, ratio here, so she should accelerate really good. And uh, with just a three horsepower engine, won't have a top speed. I don't want to go fast on this thing. Okay, I have uh, cut these pieces off. I'm gonna rearrange them, put that in the back so I'll have more leg room and move this se section here to the middle. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now. All right, this is uh, where I'm at right now. Uh, jack shaft is in place. I did not order the disc brake that's gonna go on that side. Uh, I create made this cradle here for the engine, and this is uh, just some support because this would have been an area of stress here from flexing, and I just want to make it more rigid. And the next thing I have to do is the steering, and I'm going to come up with a pipe up here and a steering T-bar, but that'll be, that's almost it. And then I'll mount the motor and the chair and... Uh, gas tank and hook everything up and she should be rideable okay the frame is complete uh, added did all this air, this gusseting here for the um, rear um, axle it's a live axle engine mounting plate these are the foot pegs the steering's complete and what else, move the seat back. Um, also added this bracket here for the rear brake. And um, that's about it. Well, this is it. Um, not quite finished. I gotta hook up the brake. And um, hook up the gas line to the carburetor. Hook up the throttle. Hook up the kill switch, brake, rest of the brake goes there, but it's um, it's just little piddly stuff that has to be done to finish it up. You can still 
operate this thing. I mean, um, use it for gardening because uh, the seat turns to the side. And, or you can go cruising around your yard in it. 